G'day team, I'm just going to show you uh, the, uh, an up close and personal look at the Ironman awning removal bracket. I'm just going to show you how I use it in a solo situation. The way I take it off the truck and get it to set up. Later on this morning when a shootout do some loops from where we are, um, and a perfect example of using it, leaving my swag there to come back tonight. Let's have a closer look. Alright, here's a close up of your Ironman awning removal bracket. You can see bracket assembly here. By removing the split pin, that enables you to simply remove the awning from the bracket itself. Really simple. From an added security perspective, just throw a long shank padlock and that will stop any silly bugger trying to take the awning off your truck. I'm just going to show you now the bits that you'll just need, in my opinion, to make a really easy um, removal of the awning from your truck in a solo situation. If you had two guys, simple. But doing it by yourself, I just want to show you this. What you'll need, two, um, I use green, Iron Man green of course, uh, ratchet straps, three temp pegs, and two guy ropes, two temp poles, and of course, the old bang bang hammer. And I'll show you now how I get the awning off the truck. First things first, one peg, smack bang in the center. Simple engineering, here legends. Right to strap in the loop. So what we're doing now is supporting the two poles. With a nice simple bit of triangulation. So really simple, really easy, nothing fancy. Just need a bit more support on these poles for the awning. So when you unhook it from the truck, it doesn't want to fall over like a deck of cards. All right, done. Step one done. Just getting the triangulation with your ratchet tie downs, Iron Man Green, gets the awning nice and stable. Now I can unhook the awning from the truck. All I do is rest it down onto the swag and then I can move my truck out of the way. Let's do it. So I'm just going to simply unhook the awning from the truck. Make sure you take off your split pins. I can now remove the awning from the truck. Look how easy that is. And just gently rest it down onto my swag. Very safe, very stable now. I could let it sit there for the next half an hour, get my truck out of the way, but you can see now, easily supported my awning poles, so they don't fall over. And it's just resting there on my swag. Move my truck out of the way, and I'll show you what's next. All right, let's get the awning stood up. Tent pole, guy rope, tent peg, and hammer. Quick little trick, make sure you get your guy rope ready, tent peg ready, and your hammer. So we can all do it in the one, one process. Tent peg, hammer, guy rope. Tent pole, grab the awning from the center, Tent pole, go straight into the bracket. Hook the guy rope on. Grab your other tent pole. Pop it in. With the guy rope on. Now really easy, with a tent pole in your pocket. To fit this off. Grab your second guy rope, hook it on, tent peg, hammer. Alright guys, there you go, that, that easy. The Ironman awning is now freestanding, away from the truck, 
using those uh, really clever Iron Man awning removal brackets. All done by myself, as you saw. A couple of little tricks in there, though. Um, so please consider those. And hey, if you come up with a better idea, you make sure you tell me. Um, leave some comments down below. Um, but yeah, let's do it. Let's have some fun on the tracks. <laughs>